You've probably never tried to use a pen upside down, but if you did, you'd have a tough time. Now, imagine you're in outer space where there's no gravity at all. What do you do? October 11th, 1968. The first Apollo astronauts enter Earth's orbit, and the first space pens were right there with them. An astronaut pen, it writes upside down. That's a Fisher space pen. You might have seen it on Seinfeld of all places. They're not like other pens. Instead of relying on gravity, they have special pressurized cartridges that use nitrogen gas to push ink out, which means they can write at any angle or an extreme cold or extreme heat, where the ink in a normal pen would get too thick or too thin to write. And while most pens use water-based ink, space pens use glycol, allowing them to write underwater or even through grease. Paul Fisher first created the pressurized ink cartridge in 1966. The next year, NASA purchased 400 of them for $6 a pop. More than 60 years later, Fisher space pens are used on the International Space Station. Your other pens might run out of ink pretty quickly, but this one should last you about 100 years. And even if you haven't planned your next trip to the moon, a space pen could still come in handy. A lot of times I write in bed, and I have to turn and lean on my elbow to make the pen work. Take the pen. Oh, no. Go ahead. I couldn't. Come on, take the pen. I can't take Do it. Do me a personal favor. No, I'm not Take the pen.